Hello, and welcome back to what's bubbling a Zim Roll. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to continue to take a look at what's new with ZimCat 4 at zimjazz.com. So you can press on the cat and pop on over to see that we have uh, some new things here. Zaps tool, uh, Zim Easing, and a keyboard, and we've uh, looked at bubblings of those, or we will look at bubblings of all those things, but now we're going to take a look at what's new in the site in general. And that happens along these bars, for instance, our code section here. Ooh, more bars! <laughs> Great! So we've introduced these bars that allows us to pop down to the libraries right away. Wow, or over to the tools, or right back up to the start. So no more scrolling, big long scrolls, so super. We've added a new template here that we can copy, uh, and the template is min um, smaller. So we've taken out some of the comments there. What was happening, I think, is the comments, maybe there were uh, so many it made the template look a little bit big and perhaps a bit scary for some. But really, it's just a call to the two scripts a frame call here, and when it's ready, we can put our code here. So that's a, a smaller template. To see the rest of the templates, you would hit more like that, and that takes you into the rest of the templates. Um, in features, we have the new uh, new features here, the zaps. Woohoo! Okay, we'll do a bubbling on that. Zaps tool, that's where we put our Zim Shim connection and accessibility, then is under features. CDN is the CDN as it was before. Oh, we've tidied up the CDN though. If you take a look, wow, look at that nice and tidy looking CDN. So what we've done is we've, in a sense, whitelisted things this time. So the CDN sometimes had test files in it and things like that. We, we didn't really mean them to be there, but if they got uploaded, the test files, then the test files would show up in the CDN. Some people were using those test files, and so when we <laughs> we removed the test files from the CDN and people started <laughs> reporting and saying, hey, why isn't my file, you know, why isn't this working? And we realized, oh, okay, well, you were using a test file. So we've made it so the test files can still be in the CDN, and we won't remove those. We put them back. We won't remove those, but we won't show them in the CDN. So the CDN will only show the ones that are the official releases, in a sense. But we still have those test files in the CDN. Uh, okay. So going back to the code page. Uh, there we go. Um, that's the CDN. Under Tools, we've added the guides and posts on Medium and Dev to that. We've also added this one called Dark Pages. So Dark Pages used to be all down in the code page, the organization of the code. Don't know if you remember that. The treats, the new things, the Zim Duo technique, the Zim Oct for style, the Zim V values. So those are treats. Um, wow, lots of treats for you. How Zim relates to CreateJS, and even right into object-oriented principles and programming. Those have been updated to ES6, and they've all been placed in this thing called Dark Papers. <laughs> so that means our, our page here, the code page, it doesn't have as much a scroll anymore. It's just these sections, and all those other sections have been put into dark papers. We've added Discord here as a, our community. I think that was there before. And there's the Zaps tool under Tools, where we've launched this set of four tools that all look the same. We've updated those tools just to take a look at them. They're a little um, sharper looking. A bit more modern looking and we've added the become a patron which you're certainly welcome to do if you have the ability to do that um, our a new tool for instance wow you know it takes a place of 70 hard steps to be able to get uh, apps onto mobile so we'll show you that in a zap or in a, <laughs> in a zap of its own, in a bubbling of its own <laughs> Uh, right, so carrying on down, mm, 
I think that's pretty well it for the code page. Everything else is similar. So we'll pop on back to check out the other ones. Here's news. News has been completely redesigned as well with the latest things from Zimcat here. As well as you can go to Zimcat to see all of the latest things in Cat right there as well. And let's see, what did that do? Did that pop up? Oh, that popped up a window, I guess. Um, so we want uh, control tab, alt tab, tab, battle of the bands. Sorry, I'm just trying to get back here. Oh, well, close that. And oh, it didn't. So what happened to my back button? Back button, give me that. Ah, ah, help, help. Go away, Windows. Go away, everybody. Ah. Huh, no back button. Well, I can back it that way. Sorry about that. And back into F11. So that's the the latest area there. We've also um, sort of simplified our bubbling. Hey, this is where we're at in the bubbling. There's also explore, code in five minutes. So this is where we can find news. Here's the articles in medium and in dev. In dev, we're doing a lot of like shorter, shorter articles and a lot of them, whereas media, the medium we've sort of uh, created long, more long-term articles and including that guide to coding creativity on the canvas. So if you haven't seen that, please do. Our community, we're doing Q and A's on Wednesdays, I think it is. Yeah, Wednesdays at seven. So come on in if you want to just chat with us and do ask some questions, you're welcome to. That's on Discord. Discord's a little bit more chatty than, um, than uh, Slack. Well, that's the way we want it, or hope that it can be. But you know, we'd like to get some chatter, chatter going there. So if you're on Discord, come and join us and give us some chatter. That would be great. We've also been doing Zim Zooms. We just did a Zim Zoom here on the launch of Zimcat 4. So you can see that Zoom live. If you come into Slack, it's posted in Slack. Probably you should post that on Discord too. And as we go and have more Zooms, we'll be adding them to the archives here. So come on in and join us. There was a dozen people last time, or maybe more. All right. <laughs> My back button is gone. It was, what the heck is... Oh, this time it opened up a new window. <laughs> all right. My apologies. Uh, maybe we should just have those all open up uh, right in the same window, and then we can uh, do that. So that, that's uh, that stuff in the news. In the about... I think we've we've touched up the about a little bit, added a graphic in there, but again, we've got the, the sections here. So you can have a look there. Otherwise, I believe the about section's pretty well the same as it was before. The examples have been adjusted. So the examples now uh, have, have a bar as well, but take a look. There's featured, but there's also collections. So uh, up here on the left used to be Zim Bits. So Zim Bits, if you're used to finding Zim Bits here, uh, it's now in collections. So what collections is, is our collections code. So Zim Bits is 64 examples. Uh, the e-learning quiz has like eight examples inside it. Here are the ZimCat features, the Zim10 features, the Zim Neo, Zim9 features. There's the mini site on beads, the mini site on particles, mini site on physics, a mini site on the base. Uh, noise, animation, accessibility. So all these are mini sites or collections of things. Then we've got our code pens, which we need to update our code pens. We've got maybe a dozen or so code pens still to add here that we haven't. And then magical are the older ones that were along the bottom, but still some good things to find in there as well. Anytime you do go to the bottom here, you find the bar, you can click on the, the very leftmost to take you to the top. So that's Zim examples. The learn site has been updated as well with a new intro for people, well, with the bars as well. A new intro, where to get the code from, or it's encouraging you to try out uh, Zim Kids. So <laughs> uh, the, sl the slate there, which is a really easy place to type and, and see things or, or use the lab. So there's the lab or slate. Here's the videos. 
Here's Zim School. So these these are all in there. There's kids. So school. Kids. Articles. We've added to the learn section. We've added the medium and the dev links. And then tutorials are the, the set of many tutorials. But if we go to the kids, there was an update in kids as well. So I'll just pop in there. Uh, I'm not sure if you've seen all of the the examples here in kids. Let's zoom, I guess. Uh, we've added the bits to the uh, Zim Kids to give kids a bit more to look at if they want, if they want to check things out, and also all of, or well, not all of, but any of the code pens. We added those slightly. But there are the tutorials. Uh, here are the changes. So the changes have been made in Slate, where we have. Uh, will be coming in usually we come in with a clear slate an empty slate and if you want to see the demo the demo used to be the default if you want to see the demo then you click on the demo there's also settings here for a phone which is a more narrow thing and here's a portrait version of a phone so if you wanted to view your app on a phone that would probably be how you could do it either in portrait or landscape and if you want a tablet, then you could do a portrait tablet or a um, powder tablet, or indeed just here on the computer, it's like that as well. So we have plans coming up for more in Slate, the ability to add assets, and we're hoping the ability to let the kids launch their apps on their mobile devices as well with the new mobile device tool, but we'll build it in, in Zim Kids. So that's the plan there. And that was a look at the learn section, the code section. Uh, there are some changes as well, a whole bunch of smaller changes to Zim, but why don't we leave that for another bubbling? Because uh, that's more code based. And we'll leave this bubbling having a look through the site updates. Uh, if you didn't catch it, by the way, in the gold bars down here, there is a site map. And so you can come in and choose any of these things. You want to see the code pen examples, for instance, you can add that then. It's now been added. And up top here uh, will be the code pen examples. So you can, oh, right here, faves. So it's added it to the saved ones right up top. If I look at the code page a lot or something like that, or maybe the docs, which I do look at the docs a lot, I can add the docs. And that's been added there now. And when we press into the docs, we go. Or when I press into the code pen examples, we go. So you might want to put that right up in the bar up top where you can easily find your uh, your gold bar, which was down here, of the, the map. And take you to the map and you can find all your links right here. So you can try that out and see if, if that's good for you. Okay, that's been a What's Bubbling at Zim. I am Dr. Abstract. We took a look at uh, some new changes to the Zim site. Uh, that go along with ZimCat 4. Cheers! Hope to see you at zimjs.com slash slack or zimjs.com slash discord if you want to communicate with us, which we would love. Bye-bye. <laughs>